This is Stubby Mashed Potatoes. Welcome to LARPgasm. So, you've seen one too many Peter Jackson movies, and you decide you want to play a dwarf. Or maybe you got no imagination, so you always default to dwarf and fighter when you play D&D. &D. Well, this is a dwarf. <clears throat> when I decided to play this character, um, I took a page out of our tabletop game that I run. Um, this character here, Stubby Mashed Potatoes that I play, was actually an NPC that my uh, group happened to come upon. Didn't mean to be a recurring person in the pl uh, plot, but he ended up being well received by the group and uh, they ended up taking him in. So, Stubby Mashed Potatoes was your atypical dwarf, um, likes drinking, hates elves, greedy, but has a heart of gold, so he ended up sticking around. Well, I patterned this character off of him. Now, it took me a long time to get to this point for this character concept. I initially had planned to make everything look like it was made out of wooden beer kegs or old time like ale kegs. So I was gonna have a half barrel shield made out of wood. I was gonna have a half barrel helmet that actually looked like a keg. And then I was gonna have all my armor be made out of wood um, <clears throat> based off of a set of football pads. So basically I could almost make a transformer and kind of form up and just look like <clears throat> some kegs sitting on top of each other would have been pretty cool. So I started working on that and then you know time started running short and that wasn't gonna happen. So changed my whole idea to another type of dwarf and then I started working on that and then started running out of time. Then finally I decided to go with something simple. Got the beer hat, standard costume, uh, <clears throat> more kind of like a realistic typing dwarf and less cartoonish. Um, I made leg kegs, if you've ever seen those, where you, it looks like you're standing on top of kegs, so it makes up for the uh, height difference of a dwarf. So you look like you're running around the battlefield with kegs strapped to the bottom of your boots. Um, however, <clears throat> well, really great for cosplay. There's actually no application for them in LARP whatsoever. First time you try to run, you're going to die. So I have those, and I'll show them to you in a later segment, but for right now, I'm just not wearing them. So I just got boots on with my pants and uh, standard costume. So if you want to play the dwarf, the first thing I did was make a list. You should always make a list of your supplies that you're going to need. Now, I had my concept down, so I knew what I was going to need. I knew I wanted to do the beer helmet, so got myself a standard beer helmet, got some other supplies and made it. I knew I was going to need a beard. And uh, for the costume, I decided to go pretty simple based on some stuff I saw online and based on, you know, movies I've seen with dwarves in, you know, leather vest, period shirt, gloves, dark pants, boots, pretty much covers it. <clears throat> the shirt I had to do some work on, stain it up. You know, I dipped it in coffee and tea several times to make it look more stained. You probably can't tell from the video, but up close, it's got a lot of stains on it. So it looks really authentic. Um, I bought these so I can put plates in the pockets and now basically count as my armor. <clears throat> Same way with this vest. It's a 10 pocket vest. So on the outside, there's not a lot of pockets, but on the inside, there's a ton of pockets. So I can conceal my armor plates inside. I don't have to wear anything big and bulky on the outside. Plus, since I also play a rogue, um, it's very helpful to have all those pockets to hide things that I steal. So, as far as character, that's kind of, you know, what I got going on for my dwarf here. Uh, the name Stubby Mashed Potatoes just kind of was something I made up. Um, you know, something a little playful, but, you know, something that could also work stubby, obviously, because um, you're short and you're a dwarf. But, um, yeah, I mean, basically you end up seeing the dwarf standing here in front of you. And um, to this, of course, I added an accent. Dwarf accents are real easy to do because you just talk like a dwarf. And uh, dwarves kind of talk like this. So if you really want to play one, it's not that hard. Stick your belly out, hold your hands on it, and talk in a deep, raspy voice. And you pretty much got yourself a dwarf. Now, Stubby also smokes cigars. Um, some of my other videos, you might see that happening. So I decided to get a prop cigar that I walk around and smoke, but I also drink heavily. So in game, there's vendors that I purchase drinks from. So you always see me walk around with a tankard or a mug of something. So basically, I mean, that's the character, you know, dress the part, act the part, play the part. So far he's been well received. This is my second time playing this character, hoping that he doesn't get killed, hoping that everything goes well. And um, yeah. No, it's going to be significantly warmer here than it was the last time I played, so I'm 
curious to see how this costume works in the heat. Does very well in cooler temperatures, but <clears throat> this beard, I don't even want to think what this is going to be like when it gets up to 80 or 90 <laughs> this weekend. Um, I'm sorry if I look shifty, but I am in game right now, so I always have to be on the lookout for enemies. And since my weapon and my shield are sitting over there against some rocks, I really need to pay attention because if I get jumped, I'm going to be in deep shit if I don't have my stuff on me. So, if you're looking to play a dwarf, I hope this gives you some insight on how to go about doing that. Basically, do your research online, look at some pictures, decide whether you want to be more of a fantasy or more of kind of like a... Uh, I guess historically accurate, even though that doesn't make any sense, type of dwarf. Um, so basically high fantasy or low fantasy setting. And then go from there. I mean, do you want to be steampunk or do you want to be, you know, something else? And then go from there. Basically, you can't go wrong with the dwarf. They're super easy. Lots of browns, lots of metallic colors. Get yourself a mace and a shield and you're all set. Anyways, this is Stubby Mashed Potatoes and you're watching Larpgasm. Please subscribe, like the video below if you enjoyed it. Check out all my other videos. I think you'll find some interesting information on there. And adventure on. Well, <clears throat> as it would turn out, good old Stubby got arrested. Um, I don't know what for exactly. Uh, this was like loitering or mopery or I don't know, something. But uh, I got thrown in here. Um, Luckily, they let me have a cigar. Uh, unfortunately for them, they also let me have a cigar. And, uh, you know, if you're going to have a prisoner, you should never let them have any possessions, especially their personal possessions, because they might just have a lockpick hidden inside their cigar. And uh, they're, well, they're about to find that out in a minute here. In your LARP, if you have a prison system, you have any sort of uh, law, I'd strongly suggest following the rules. If you're not going to follow them, you should definitely not get caught. Because this here, this is a mess. These people are fools for putting me in here. Worst case scenario, I pay them a bail. Probably can't be that much. But, um, yeah. At least they let me keep my ale hat so I can stay properly hydrated while I'm kicking ass and breaking out of here. And let me keep my cigar, my lock pick in. If you ever find yourself in prison in game and you don't have a way to get out, well, you better have some charm, you better have some friends, or you better have some money. But if not, always have the skill to get away. Hopefully your LARP has skills that allow you to escape situations like this, because it would really be terrible to be stuck in this little box all weekend. But um, if you ever do get stuck in a little box all weekend, you just better hope you're alone. And they don't throw a troll or an ogre in here with you. You know what I'm saying?